Yeah, in a, in a dana, for example, there is a, you know, the offering is also part of the dana. You know, generosity is also part of the dana. You know, so the offering here, it's a, it's a why it is important the offer. Offering to teachers, offering to Buddha, Dharma, Sangha. Now, there are a few the important points that we have to understand. Now, first of all, sometimes like you don't know where, where to really generosity. For example, let's say your teachers and who is already you know like a kind of. Um, using for dharma or social work, let's, let's say that way. And let's say you trust your teacher. And like a, there is a, sometimes the people use that offering to spread the dharma, which is, which is even more um, powerful dana because, because normal generosity, it just maybe solve the temporary problem, let's say hunger, shelter, which is, which is important, but it's, a, it's a just very temporary. But the but the what you offer to teachers, a teacher is like a, let's say, you know, spreading the dharma, so that you you are kind of part of that mission to spread the light of wisdom in the world, and that 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 you are solving a not a temporary problem, but you are solving a quite a what do you call that um, um, the samsaric kind of you know ignorance problem, which which is which is like a, even what do you call bigger dana i would say but at the same time see if you look at from different perspective this is interesting for me to understand that i was also thinking before why it is impo- important to offer to lama now it's really depend how you are seeing lama again if you are seeing lama as a, just a human being then then it's the same thing generosity offering just both are you know just giving but the Lama is here, the Lama, you have to always understand the Lama means there is no beyond. The Lama means, La means above, Ma means there is no above him or her, no beyond him or her, which means the truth. Lama is nothing but the truth, that which is Dharmakaya or Mahamudra or the nature of mind. So now you have to understand something here. It's it's a offering. It's much like a profound in, in in terms of like a kind of offering. It's not just a generosity, because when you're offering, what what really happening here? It's what you possess is nothing but the ego. You know, I mean, you agree or not, but it is part of this duality. Are you getting my point? The ego is nothing but the duality. That what you possess. I as a subjective I and that objective whatever the, the, the things you have and there is duality and it is nothing but the ego everything it looks like a, so many things but it's nothing but the kind of you know multiply of ego and and now interesting part who is Lama Lama is uh, represent the Dharmakaya the your true nature of mind it's not some separate entity or some separate human being but it's you you know, the Lama is now one, but you, you are truth. Now, what really happening here? If you look deeper and deep inside the offering, in the surface, there is, oh, I'm offering this and this to Lama. It's like almost there's some human being and there's a subjective I, in, like an objective, whatever, you're offering to some, some, some being in the surface. But in the reality, what really happening is that ego is dissolving into Dharmakaya. Ego is dissolving into Dharmakaya. So, offering is nothing but the Mahamudra practice in, in terms of Guru and the, 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 the student, you know, like a offering. So, that, that what really happening is ego is dissolving into the It's almost like a darkness in dissolving into the light. Darkness is dissolving into the light. What does that mean? Ego is reducing. Just by thinking of Lama, Lama is nothing the truth, the Dharmakaya. And whatever you're offering, doesn't really matter. You offer anything. Offer body, speech, and mind, offer anything. It's just offering. It's almost like an ego 
is transferred to Dharmakaya. Ego is dissolved into Dharmakaya. So that, that, is, that is the real meaning of this offering to the Lama. It's why it is more important because it's already connected to the Mahamudra or, or let's say practicing the truth. It's, it's much faster. But again, you know, it depends that the relation or the devotion toward your teacher. So I'm here talking more like a, if he or she is your Mahamudra or the Dzogchen teaching teachers and whom you have a devotion. So then, then that offering works as a kind of, you know, that practice. Otherwise, it's just a gift, you know, just a gift.